Portland has a rich and vibrant arts scene, and CTN has a new series called Spotlight, which focuses on those organizations that enrich our town's cultural community. Arthur Nichols talked with series producer Tom Handel about the new edition of Spotlight. Hi, Tom. Hi, Arthur. Good. Good. Thank you for having me here. Sure. So we're here to talk about the Spotlight Show. Yes, yes. And uh, what is the Spotlight Show? Spotlight Show is a television series that we started with a grant from the Quimby Foundation mm -hmm. to highlight what's going on in the local arts. Okay, and uh, it's a half-hour show? Yeah, it's a half-hour show. It's a magazine format. This is the second show in the series, the first show we did in the fall and it spotlighted the Portland Ballet, the Portland Conservatory of Music, the Portland Museum of Art, specifically their Winslow Homer engraving exhibit, and Portland Playback Theater. And it was only spotlighting the four segments on those particular organizations. The second show that's coming up this month, that's going to be airing this month, uh, highlights two organizations, the Maine Academy of Modern Music, and Peregrine Press, and all the artists there who are printers. But what it also does is give a rundown of arts activities that are happening in, in, in coming up this summer. So uh, we've kind of reformatted and we're kind of evolving with what we think is the need for more publicity about the arts in the greater Portland area. So the first, the first show um, had a lot of content around big institutions, big, well-established uh, cultural institutions here in Portland. Um, and it's changing a little bit. The focus is changing somewhat. Yes, um, we did. We, we uh, sat down with a few of the larger arts organizations like the Portland Ballet and the Portland Museum of Art to assess what their needs were. But as we got into the project, we could see that there was a lot of smaller arts organizations that really make up a lot of the, the art culture, the rich art culture in, in this area that don't get as much uh, airtime and publicity uh, as, as some of the other the larger organizations. So what we want to do is try to incorporate as many organizations as we can in a show by talking about what's coming up. And we are looking forward to a longer, bigger series next year. We've been invited again to apply for the Quimby Foundation Great. grant and we're also going to be applying for other uh, foundation money to make it a series that really uh, showcases several different organizations, tells what's going on in those areas, gives the behind-scenes looks, does a lot more for local arts. So over the years, CTN has uh, uh, put a uh, focus on the arts time and again, and uh, this is a, uh, a new project. How is it different from earlier shows? Well, th this show specifically gets at a lot of different arts organizations and we're dividing up into four areas where we really want to have some concentration on dance, some concentration on music, some concentration on the visual arts and some concentration on uh, theater. And we also want to supplement it with our website and have a page or a section of pages in our website, the CTN website, that gives the fragment, you know, the different segments of the show, and also goes over some of the events, links to other uh, to the arts organizations that we're talking about, and and really goes more in depth on the art scene in the Greater Portland area. Okay, great. So the uh, that's interesting that your the focus of our TV station is uh, is not the focus, but there's a lot of emphasis emphasis on uh, web content. Oh yeah, we we see that a lot of people are using. The website and our, our, our site is becoming rich with a lot of short videos and uh, uh, giving information about the local area. And we think we could re be really helpful to arts organizations in this area by giving them uh, some transparency on our station, being able to see who's involved in the arts, what, not just you know, what's going on, but who are the artists, what are they doing, and getting people more interested in the process that goes on behind being an artist. So they could watch it on Channel 5 of the cable system uh, here in Portland and, and Cumberland County or uh, watch it on our website. Yeah, and right now we actually have started sort of the idea or the concept of the page that we're talking about. If you go to ctn5.org and go up to the tab that says community, you'll see topic highlights. And if you click on that, you'll see a series of different topic highlights and one of them will be spotlight. So you could watch any of the segments in the in Spotlight that we've already produced, and that page will get bigger and longer and more filled with different kinds of content as we go along. 
So as far as the TV listing, does, do you have a time slot for it? Yes. We, well, we, we will have a time slot for it. It hasn't been set yet, but we hope to next year when we expand the series to have the same exact time slot every single week. Great. Terrific. Well, thanks very much. Thanks for... Sounds like a great project. Yeah, I, I look forward to finding out more about the local arts.